Hi, my name is Daniel. I am. Uh, I just graduated from SIS in 2013. So, um, uh, yeah, I think today the main objective that I, I wanted to achieve was to just kind of get you guys excited about SIS um, and just you know to look forward to some cool stuff that you get to do. So the main theme that I have around my presentation is really um, SIS is a cool place, and you know you'll just really enjoy it. So um, the first thing I wanted to share was uh, uh, you know at SIS we got a chance to make a lot of cool things. Um, and uh, so one of the, just want to share with you some of the things that uh, I got a chance to make uh, and as well as to give you a chance to give a, a sort of a, um, an overview of some of the courses that are available at SIS. So um, this is an IS429, it is a cloud computing course and the objective of the course was really simple um, to empower us uh, to be able to, to leverage a lot of the cloud services out there and uh, really quickly build applications, provide services and really just do a lot of things in a short amount of time uh, without people's permission. So the pitch is, uh, you know, you're, you're in a company, you're in an office, and, and uh, you know that cloud computing can help you achieve something, uh, a big problem, and you could just do it with your own money in a short time, and uh, before, you know, before the boss says, uh, let me think about it, you tell the boss you've already got the solution. So um, in this project, we got a chance, my team got a chance to build something called a live blogging platform. So uh, the whole idea is that, um, you know, we wanted to provide this service where people can um, go to an event and blog about it live and people can just sit at home and watch um, you know the words and the pictures kind of appear and we managed to hook it up with the camera as well so um, you can see uh, we're just kind of doing a presentation and this is actually a photo that um, you know we actually took during the presentation itself and you can see in the next slide that the very photo that we took appeared immediately uh, on the screen for the rest of the class to see when we demonstrated our project so this was uh, one of the really fun projects that we did um, the other one uh, for is IS306 uh, IS306 is a, pro, uh, is a module that focuses on how to design very usable uh, products, applications, right? Something that people like to use. So in this project, uh, my team built something called uh, uh, Smart Plan, which is basically um, ability to, you know, we thought that we wanted to uh, give um, uh, people less things to do. So all they need to do is just kind of go into a to-do list and just put in the things they need to do, and our application will schedule the things out for them automatically. So our slogan was, uh, you put a task in and a schedule comes out. So, you know, learning how to make complex things really simple. So this is something that uh, we got to make as well. Um, uh, IS416, mobile and pervasive technologies. So uh, this module is about, not just about making mobile applications, but also uh, implementing technologies, uh, being conscious of the culture, the environment, the people as well. So, um, you know, for in this case, uh, the, the, the app that I, I got to make with my team was something that we call Keep Sleeping. So the challenge is that we like to take the bus and um, you know, we, we, we sometimes we don't sleep in the bus because we're afraid that we might miss the stop. So with keep sleeping, you, know, uh, you just say this is where I need to go, this is to do this. When I arrive close to my bus stop, it will tell me, hey, uh, you, know, you gotta wake up. So that's why we call it keep sleeping. So the first time we got to play with the geolocation stuff and it uh, was lots of fun. So the main thing is that you know, these three projects, we got to make things that are helping people and uh, for once, we're building things on our own. You know, real world stuff that real people are actually using. So that was very exciting. And of course, in SMU, there's something called IS480, which is uh, the SMU equivalent of uh, FYPs that the other universities do. So for this particular uh, thing, uh, we, we built a, a, a web service, uh, an online service where we pair people together. So we, we found two groups of people that um, will always have trouble. Uh, one of them are the uh, business people, right? Entrepreneurs, they have a lot of great ideas. Um, it's just that they, they don't have the technical ability. And because you know, they want to be a startup, they don't have the money to actually hire people to do work for them, you know, those big developers. And then we have students, like people like myself in SIS, where we want real experiences. As a student, we cannot commi commit to huge projects and um, you know, we're, we're, we want to make some side money. So we decided to make this service where it matches two people to get these two people together. Uh, different students can come in and take over the project one week after a week after a week. And then at any point in time, they can withdraw because somebody else can come and take over. So this is something that we built. We called it uh, Pivotal Expert. Um, you know, we got the chance to design this entire application on our own, code it ourselves and stuff like that. Um, this is one of the things that I'm most excited about SI. We make, get to make things and um, you know, it's, it's made me uh, somebody who decided I want to make things for the rest of my life to help people. And uh, we were very uh, fortunate to actually win the uh, Best Project Management Award for, for this project as well. So that's something that we're quite proud of. 
we got a chance to visit a lot of cool places as well. So, um, you know, I got the, uh, the fortune of going to two places, and I just want to share with you to give you an idea of, of that. Um, the first place that I went to in school was Vietnam for an overseas uh, CIP project. We got to, um, you know, visit orphanages and, uh, you know, to get a chance to love these uh, uh, less fortunate people. To go to a place to visit a country w which is, uh, you know, not as fortunate as uh, a place like Singapore. So it was a great eye opener, and uh, really we, we were very touched uh, ourselves more than we had a chance, you know, just. More than having a chance to love somebody else, we felt very loved ourselves as well. So it was a life-changing experience for me. Um, and yeah, a great chance to get people to see the world. Um, the other place that I uh, got to go to uh, was uh, Korea. This is for IS-427. This is a module called Techno, Techno Creership Study Mission. And we got a chance to go to Korea and visit South Korea in Seoul. We visit various startup companies all over Seoul and uh, to kind of understand uh, what are the differences and yet similarities that they have in terms of uh, starting up their own businesses, you know? And uh, it was very inspiring for us, got a chance to hear startup businesses, those who just began not so successful and uh, those who are more successful, you know, how, uh, what challenges they face, why they took the step to not work for Samsung and LG, you know, the two biggest companies in Seoul, and go and start uh, their own company. And even got to visit really uh, cool companies like uh, Kakao, which is that uh, really famous, popular instant messaging uh, service in Seoul and around the world as well. So um, that was um, really cool stuff. Um, so I also got a chance to work at cool companies. So um, you know, the first uh, I, I did, did two internships, and the the first internship was at a company called Twenty Twenty Two Media, and uh, one of the things that they did was that they owned a bookstore called Grace Hope. And uh, what happened is that they built an online community to sort of um, uh, around the people who would actually purchase their products. So there was a, a community already, and uh, I was uh, I I got the opportunity to build a video portal. So uh, what we noticed was that a lot of people were sharing videos. So it's kind of a bit of like a small Facebook, but just around the contents of this bookstore, right? And people were sharing videos with each other. So we decided to build this portal where we pull the URL that they that they were sharing and put it all together into a single page so that the people within this community can go and uh, you know, watch videos. So um, what I was really fortunate to do was I got a chance to build this entire thing um, and for the first time, this was the first time I got an app, uh, I built an app that thousands of people are using even today. So that's something that I was very proud of. So that was a medium sized company, it's a pretty small company. Um, my second internship was a totally different experience. I was working for MNC, it was a huge enterprise. So I had the opportunity to work for a small company as well as a big company as well. So I got a chance to see, you know, what is it like in both extremes. And uh, for this company, I got to do something quite fun. Um, I got to work on enter enterprise social networking. So this is something that I've never heard of before I got into the company. And um, the whole idea is that, um, you know, this uh, DFS is a huge company. They've got branches all over the world. And they wanted to be able to leverage all of the people in the company to help each other, to learn from each other, and to even make friends across the world, across departments. So they wanted, a, you know, they, they gave me the chance to, um, you know, come up with uh, some sort of strategy and policies to help uh, an, an internal social network work for DFS. And uh, you know, so this is a, a little something that I got to come up come up with um, to redesign the, the portal as well. So um, a really cool job um, that I got to t to take part of. So um, you know, finally, there is this thing in, in SMU and SI specifically that uh, you know, which is called the, the learning outcomes, and um, the whole idea is that uh, SIS wants you know us to, to be able to match everything that we learn with a very specific outcome that has a real world outcome that we know that why we're learning something and uh, how what we learn can apply to the real world. So I just wanted to share uh, one aspect of that and how I felt that it was something that was really cool that I learned. Um, which of course we hear a lot uh, in SIS, which is integration of uh, business uh, and technology in a sector context. And uh, for my case, I got to see how these things work uh, on a side project that I was working on while I was in SIS. Um, it was a website called uh, Tech Sixty Five um, that we did. Um, so basically, we produce content. Uh, share, we share like uh, podcasts and video content and things like that. Um, and I got to see how um, you know. Even though we have technology, we need to apply this technology in the right way by understanding the business. So in this case, for our case at Tech65, our business was producing content. Our, our business was allowing people to find content quickly. So um, you know how to design an application, the features and things like that, that met the business requirements rather than putting technology for the sake of technology. 
So um, this was something that, that I got to learn that I felt was one of the most useful uh, things that, that I learned in SMU because uh, before this, uh, technology is technology, business is business. But understanding that technology is nothing but a tool and that um, you know, it is a tool to bring business forward um, helped change my entire perspective uh, uh, of uh, technology. So in case you wanted to uh, see uh, some a little snippet of some of the content um, that, that, that we produce, so uh, to, you know, we did talk shows and things like that. So that was something that was very fun and got to apply something um, that I learned. So this was my, my cool um, SMU SIS experience. And um, you know, I just want to encourage you guys to look forward to it because it's going to be a really fun time, really empowering, really humbling. And um, you know, once you go out there, you'll be somebody. You know, today, uh, web developers and IT people, we are the real rock stars in this industry in the world today. So you know, SIS is a place where you learn to be a rock star. So um, yeah, so thank you.